our broth. And we're going to fill this up and add water as well. Let's not burn your tail off, please. Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Rebecca and today I'm going to share with you a meal prep. Today we made a tequila lime chicken and cilantro lime cauliflower rice. I used a leftover chicken to make some salads for lunch. We also made some steak and cheese sandwiches which we could not eat because it ended up having mold on them that I did not see till the end. We also made a chipotle chicken chili as well as pureeing the chipotle and adobo. We are starting with the tequila lime chicken. I gotta get that marinating for a couple hours. And in that, I just added about a half to one ounce of 1800 tequila, some garlic powder, onion powder, lime vitality essential oil, cumin vitality essential oil, and you can use lime juice or cumin if you do not have those essential oils. I also added some paprika, some cilantro, and olive oil, and I'm basically making a paste just to coat the chicken. So it's not a really thin marinade. It's like a mixture between a marinade and a dry rub. And so I almost forgot to salt and pepper the chicken. So I'm here salt and peppering the chicken, and then I'm going to add that into the bowl and let it marinate. And all of the recipes that I am making today will be in the description box. So please check that out if you want to recreate these dishes for yourself. If you are gonna use essential oils for cooking to make sure you get an essential oil that is food safe, I only use Young Living essential oils. There may be one or two other brands that are equally as good, but for me, Young Living is where it's at and that's where I've always used for the last 15 years and that's what I will continue to use. And if you're uncomfortable using essential oils, I totally get that. I used to be a skeptic myself. So just go ahead and use the dried spice or herb. And so I'm just coating the chicken right now. I wanna make sure it's evenly coated everywhere and it's able to absorb all those wonderful flavors to get marinating in the fridge. Before we make our chili, we're actually gonna make some chipotle and adobo. Um, well, we're not going to make it because it's already made. We're going to blend it up with some lime and put it in this bag. And we're going to use some of it now and we're going to freeze the rest for other days. So one can of chipotle and adobo. Also, it might be hard to get off the cap of those when you pull it off some. So you just ask your mommy for help, right? Or, right? yeah. Can you see that? Can you read it? That is lime. My Vitality Essential Oil. Yep. Only use Young Living to cook with. And we're going to try for like one to two drops. And it's just brightens one. it up. Ready to blend? Yep. That was easy. So we only need oh, and about a tablespoon for today. And P.S. You can use whatever blender you want. Mm -hmm. You sure can. So I'm just going to pour most of this in here and then I'm going to scrape the rest out for our recipe today. Say that's about a tablespoon. If I need more, I'll come get it. And make sure to air out the back so there's no air left. Yeah, and what you actually want to do is spread it out thin and lay it flat in the freezer. So when you do need it, all you end up having to do is it's gonna be you know, frozen and then you can just like break off a piece. Yep. And use it. So we're not wasting anything, right? All right, we're gonna put our veggies away. These are all veggies that we've saved to make our own homemade stuff, which is how we made this kimchi. Just kidding, beef broth, <laughs> right? We would use chicken broth as the chicken chili, but it's fine to use beef broth. So throw our onions in there. And look at this. We're ready for another thing of broth. Most of this actually came from the holidays this year. Yep. All right, before we actually put everything in the Instant Pot, we are going to measure this pot so I don't burn my hand. That's how many grams this bowl weighs. So once we make the chili, we can weigh everything and then just subtract the 1,070 and we'll know exactly how many grams in serving. He's First step in the Instant Pot is to actually saute the onions. So let's go down here and press the saute button. Saute. Saute. 
it's on. All right, now next we're going to add some olive oil. It should get hot pretty quick. We're going to do about one to two. Uh, I would say it's probably about two teaspoons, maybe close to a tablespoon. Okay, I'm gonna get that in there, and then we're gonna throw all these onions in there. Okay. All right, that's gonna take I don't know, maybe ten minutes to saute. And we're gonna brown them up just a little bit. So we're not gonna add any salt just yet. We just want to put maybe a little color on there. And let it soften just a little bit more. Then we're gonna turn it off, saute, and add all of the other ingredients. In the meantime, we're going over here to make our cauliflower rice. It's going to be a cilantro lime rice. And we just need a little bit of olive oil. And we're gonna saute the onion. And this time, I'm going to go ahead and salt it just to soften. We don't really need any color on this right now. Where's the salt? There we go. Don't worry about that. <clears throat> and a white onion would work just as well too. This will make it a little bit prettier, huh? Yeah. Just any type of onion you prefer. Go ahead, girl. We're going to pour in some cauliflower rice. My little sous chef helping. It's time for the seasonings. So we make it a little well here because we want the essential oil to bloom basically. And so we're just going to add a drop of oil. When I use essential oils, I just add it to other liquids. I'm not going to put it right in the pan. This helps to actually infuse the whole dish instead of just having one portion of it be very um, flavorful and the others not. So we're just going to do a drop of lime. One or two drops of my vitality right into the oil. And remember, young living. So we have two drops. And then we're also going to add some cumin? Um cilantro. Cilantro. You can use the cilantro oil too. I still like using, you know, I like using the essential oils and the regular seasonings because I like to see the herbs in my um, dish. Pink Himalayan sea salt, as Taylor <laughs> said. <laughs> and some pepper. Do you smell that lime? Yep. Alright. Oh. So this is on a medium low temperature. The lime actually smells like a real, a real fresh lime. It's amazing, isn't it? All right, so really, it's basically done. All we have to do is just let it cook for a few minutes, and then we'll test it, taste test it, and see if we need to add any more seasonings. Time to finish up this chipotle chicken chili. The onions are brown and soft. Next, we're going to add in the chicken. This is just ground chicken breast with that paper that we do not need because that is not good. Yeah, okay. Just not. <laughs> no. Alright, and we have two pounds. Because anytime we make a soup, why make a small batch? When you can make a big batch. Oh, don't go in there! <laughs> Alright, so we can break it up a little bit.
And also, after you touch raw meat, you want to wash your hands because that is not good for you, raw meat, raw meat juice. Exactly. All right, now, oh, I could have opened this already. One moment. These are the pinto beans. And we're gonna add the whole can, including the liquid. Just because that'll um, help thicken up the chili a little bit. So just stir that around. And really, this is just like a dump and dump kind of recipe. Yeah. Except you did brown the onions. Just add a little bit of flavor. Okay, you got that. Let's go ahead and add our broth. And we're going to fill this up and add water as well. We do that in just a minute. Water. Sounds disgusting. Okay, so let's add our chipotle adobo that we made earlier. Yep. About a tablespoon. This will add some really great flavor plus a little bit of heat. And then we also want to go in with uh, no lime. We do not need lime for this one. It's though. Um, but we will add some cumin, maybe a drop or two, two drops, garlic, a lot or a little, however much you like. Oh, we like a lot. And actually, it's not like too terrible. Okay. And, and pepper. And pepper. And some salt. What type of salt is it? This is pink Himalayan sea salt, actually. And some cilantro, about a teaspoon. You always want to rub it together to get these essential oils out. Or you could just use the essential oil. <laughs> you know, Rachel Ray says, rub it, I say, drop it. All right, so we're just gonna put the lid on and let that go. So this is the event. We're gonna do soup, 100, or 100, an hour and 30 minutes on high. Let it go. Oh, it's dark and I don't know how to change that. It's gotta be a lighting setting. Yeah, there probably is, but I can't. I don't know how to change it. But we've got our tequila lime chicken. Can you pick up one of these pieces for me to see? Ooh, got the grill master out here doing this. Here's a better view of the tequila lime chicken. Look at those grill marks, so it's gonna be good. The cilantro lime rice turned out amazing. I had to add a little bit more salt. But look at those little specks of cilantro. Mm -mm. I'm gonna be test taste testing the um, chicken. And what is this again? Cilantro lime cauliflower rice. Yes. My first try of the um, rice. I can taste the lime. Get a little kick up the lime. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. That's good. Does it taste like rice or cauliflower? Can you tell? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of tasting. What do you taste? You taste cauliflower? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Is it good? Mm hmm. Did you eat it again? Cool. I'm Chicken. Yeah, more than the rice? Um, I like them both the same. Cool. Thanks for taste testing. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. A little bit of horseradish. Mm -hmm. Let's mm -hmm. flavor this up. And we're going for an ounce of meat.
and some cheese. Probably whatever slices will work. Chipotle chicken chili is done and I've just used this potato masher to kind of break up the meat a little bit more since it was completely raw when I put it in here it was a little bit clumpy and I just realized I forgot to add chili powder and paprika so I am going to add chili powder I don't know how much, but enough. <laughs> Sprinkle. I don't measure a lot around here. I don't think I had to break it to this. I did to the Mexican chicken, but not to the chili. So we'll add a little bit of that as well. And then stir it up. Not left handed, trying to get left handed. Let's see. Okay, get a little bit on there. Like when I first tasted it, I was like, oh, chili. But wait, where's the chili powder? Because, like, the beans and the cumin. Here we go. And I've just let it cool right here. And then I've got the food scale here. We are going to see how much this weighs. We determine how many servings we've got. Okay. So we have two thousand two excuse me, two thousand nine hundred and twenty-five grams. Remember before we had a thousand seven grams, that's how much the pot weighs. So if we do the math, that um, grams, which I'm just going to convert to servings. So I'm going to put that into my app and figure it out that way. I can't, you know, I don't have to like divide this into four servings or six servings. If I want to have a small bowl, I can have it in front of a large bowl like for dinner or something, then I can have that and not have to worry about it. And so I'm accurate with my macros right now. Is counting macros and calories what I want to do forever? No. But I do want to lose weight, and that's what I'm going to do for right now. Well, hello, Cairo. What are you doing? What are you doing up there? Next to an iron that's turned on. Let's not burn your tail off, please. Let's not do that. Oh, hi, kitty. 